All right, you guys, welcome in for our continuing education class today. I'm so excited. I'm Marissa. For those of you that don't know me, I am a premier um, advocate leader here in our doTERRA group, which just basically means that I love to help teach and serve people. And uh, we're going to have a fun little mini class today. Uh, so if you have any questions, just leave them over in the chat. And Barb says she's going to be on mute. No problem, Barb. I think most people are on mute, but if you guys have any questions, just it's an open, uh, open chat, so you can chat in the chat box or unmute yourself if you have any questions as we go. All right, so continuing education is every Wednesday. We're back on schedule. We didn't have last week because we had convention, but we're going to be doing every Wednesday. And I know for like my customers and probably the person that is helping you with doTERRA is doing something similar. I have like a little punch card. Like if you come to eight continuing education classes, I will give you a prize. So if you um, are interested in something like that, just reach out to the person that is helping you with your doTERRA orders or is helping teach you. And I'm sure they have like something similar like that. And um, yeah, we do these classes every week, same link, same time. Um, and the contingent, Continuing education classes are designed for people that are customers, already have products, just want to know how to use them a little bit better. All right, so today's class I titled Medicine Cabinet Makeover. And let me show you guys screen share just really quick. Let's see. Um, sorry guys, Zoom is still sometimes a bit of a learning curve. Let me try that one more time. Um, screen share. There we go. Okay. So I wanted to show you guys um, this little graphic that I made. And this is what I'm going to be teaching about tomorrow. So every Thursdays we have 101 classes, which is basically um, kind of a sim same class every week for people that are new or just got their kit or have had samples and want to learn more. And next week, I'm going to be, not next week, sorry, tomorrow, um, I'm going to be focusing a little bit more on the oils, which is some of the basics in our most basic starter kit, the top 10 oils. But I thought I would show you this if you want to take like a screenshot of this. I'm not going to go over too much of oils today. So if you want to join us tomorrow, I'm going to talk a little bit more about um, the top 10 oils for, for a medicine cabinet makeover. Um, but today I'm going to be mostly focusing on like some of our supplements and some of the other products. But I have made this little graphic and I <clears throat> love to gift this to people to give them good ideas of what they can make some swaps with in their medicine cabinet. Okay, does anyone still need this or can I close the screen share? Anybody still taking a picture? We're good? All right. Now I have to remember how to stop the screen share. There we go. Okay. All right, so tomorrow we'll focus a little bit more on oils, but today I wanted to focus a little bit more on some of our other products and, <clears throat> excuse me, and dive a little bit into those. All right, so, um, and just a little disclaimer, I think we all know that I'm not a doctor and that if you are trying to get off some of your, you know, especially like prescription medications, to, do to definitely always do it with the, the guidance of your doctor, but these are some simple swaps that you can integrate into your lifestyle. Um, instead of maybe grabbing some like over the counter things that might have, you know, more chemicals and more harmful composition, you can always try a natural product first. So some of these, these you can swap for prescription medic medications, but I just want to make clear that I am not um, trying to encourage you to do that. I'm giving you some options to, um, to do some research on and consider. Hope that makes sense. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's get started. Okay, so my first medicine cabinet makeover swap is your vitamins. I think all of us have vitamins in our medicine cabinet or in our house somewhere. And <clears throat> I've got a frog in my throat today, sorry guys. Um, doTERRA's Lifelong Vitality Pack. Who has tried this product? Give me a thumbs up or raise your hand, let me see. Okay, so lots of people have tried this. This is actually doTERRA's number one selling product. Isn't that crazy? You would think it would be like lavender oil, right? But um, <clears throat> LLV is our number one selling product. And it's just because it's like, it's a really easy, it's just like health from within, all packaged up into three little bottles that give you basically everything you need to support your body. So I love this because, <clears throat> sorry guys, 
I love this because I don't have to spend hours at the store reading labels, trying to figure out what ingredients my body needs. Everything is in here and it works very um, harmoniously with your body to give you the nutrients that you need. So I'm sure we'll talk all about LLV in another class and break it down a little bit more about which each one does for you, but there's three bottles here. And this pretty much solves most of your vitamin needs. Um, we do have like some other supplements and vitamins here in doTERRA land, but if you're just looking for a one-stop shop, here is your vitamin replacement for your medicine cabinet. And um, the Lifelong Vitality Pack really helps support so many systems in the body. I can't name them all. So do some research on LLV for some of your vitamin swaps. So great. All right. <clears throat> I also thought I'd mention veggie caps. Um, this is just $4 for a whole bottle of these. It comes with 160 veggie caps. And I think a lot of you know that our oils are for the most part um, okay to take internally and food grade, as long as they have a supplement facts label on the back. So you can always look, look up um, you know, protocols and such uh, to, to, take your <laughs> to make your own supplements. Um, and I do this with the oils, and I'll probably talk a little bit more about this tomorrow when we dive a little more into the oils. Nellie says she likes the kids' version of the vitamins. That's great. Um, I don't. <laughs> I'd rather just swallow it, but I, I love that we have options for everybody. So cool. All right. Um, and let's see. We've got two, three. Okay. And let's talk about coconut oil. I think we all have coconut oil in our house, but you can swap this for so many things, um, like just in your life, not necessarily your medicine cabinet. But I use coconut oil to dilute essential oils, of course, but it's also great just to like moisturize your skin. I use it to take off my makeup. I just squirt a little in my hands and rub it on my face to take off my makeup. And then I wash my face and love coconut oil. That is a must have for everybody's medicine cabinet slash life. <laughs> okay. Now, have you guys seen, <clears throat> I bet some of you have, have you guys seen this product? This is called Correct X. This is a medicine cabinet makeover swap for like a Neosporin or um, like some sort of antibiotic ointment or cream. And it has um, a similar consistency. It, it is an ointment, but it has really great healing essential oils in it too, such as frankincense, helichrysum, cedarwood, melaleuca, and lavender. So this has been swapped out in my medicine cabinet for my other type of ointments and use it for all the ouchies and boo-boos. And of course you can just use those oils plain too, but I do love the convenience of having it in like this corrective helpful ointment. And um, some people ask like, oh, well, I need like an antibacterial ointment. Well, this is an antibacterial ointment because of all the oils in here, they have very high antibacterial properties. So just know, even though it may not say like antibacterial ointment, like some of your other um, neosporins or whatever else, it may say that on the label. Just know that it is because of the, the good ingredients that we have in here. So love Correct X, that's definitely in my medicine cabinet. Um, I'm gonna mention helichrysum. Anybody familiar with this oil, helichrysum? All right, so I'm not gonna lie, this is one of our most pricey oils and I just cashed in all of my LRP points for it. So I suggest doing that when you, you stash up your LRP points, cash them in for the expensive oil, oils. Um, helichrysum is basically liquid stitches. So um, the properties of helichrysum will actually, uh, I don't know, I can't remember how to say the word, collagulate. It, it will help stop bleeding. So if you have a cut, um, you can actually just put a drop on your finger and watch it do its magic. I'm sure there's like some YouTube stuff where you can see like helichrysum, closing a wound or whatever. Um, I should make a video the next time I hurt myself because it happens quite often. But um, yeah, you can actually, you know, close up your cuts with a drop of helichrysum in the bottle. <clears throat> and I thought I would mention in our convention kit, um, I think some of you have swiped the, the new product convention kit. We are now having um, helichrysum in a roller form as a permanent item, which is so great because it makes it a little more affordable for people to, um, to purchase instead of this, you know, five milliliter, hundred, over a hundred dollar little guy. 
um, this will be at a much more helpful price point. But you can get this in the convention kit right now. It's a great deal. Um, but this will also be available for permanent purchases from here on out. And yeah, love having helichrysum. So just associate with that like liquid stitches. And of course there's a lot of other uses for helichrysum, but that is one I have in my medicine cabinet for um, really bad cuts. Okay, I'm just gonna check the questions really quick. The fractionated coconut oil, yes, Barb. This one is the fractionated coconut oil. And I'd like to just buy it from doTERRA because I earn points whenever I buy stuff from doTERRA. So I used to get it from Amazon, but I just get mine from doTERRA now. I think it's a little better quality and plus I get, I like to earn points, you know, for LRP and all that kind of stuff. And they do have in the office or the accessories on the website, you can get one of these little pumper tops. I think it's like $2 and I think it's so handy to just be able to squirt it out. So love that. Let's see. I got the roller from the convention box to use the roller as well. Yes, Michelle. Yes. Totally. I use the roller quite frequently, um, but I will say if you're using the roller, just make sure to roll on like your finger and then apply to your skin because you don't want to get any bacteria or germs like in the metal and in the like into the oil. Does that make sense? So that's something that I like to make sure I do because it's so convenient. You just want to like roll it right on your open wound, right? But you don't want to get germs or bacteria in the rest of this. So that's just my recommendation if you're using a roller bottle, just to roll some on your fingers with your clean hands first and then apply to wherever needs the helichrysum. Um, should it work the same to stop bleeding or do you need the concentrated drop from the bottle? Um, I haven't done a comparison, honestly. I mean, that would be great. I haven't like had two open wounds at one time and just like see what works a little bit better. Um, in the past, I have used the helichrysum from the dropper bottle, just like a drop on a cut, and it works really well to seal the wounds. I haven't necessarily tried that with the helichrysum touch, but I use the helichrysum touch a lot on like scrapes, um, burns, you know, bites, just kind of like ouchies. The helichrysum touch, I treat more, sorry, the, just the helichrysum bottle, I treat more as like the liquid stitches, and this is more like extra healing ointment. So I've got a pretty bad um, scrape on my leg right now and I've been using the helichrysum roller and then I'll put some of the correct X ointment on top of that. Um, okay, I think that's all the questions for now. So I'm gonna move on. Let's talk about allergies. So probably a lot of us have some Claritin or um, I can't even remember the other brands. Z something with Aziz or Tex? Uh, Benadryl. Let's see. I've taken them all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you know, those are really useful to have, especially at times. But if you're trying to find, you know, maybe just like a daily lifestyle support, um, lemon, lavender, peppermint is our antihistamine blend. So first of all, you can make yourself a roller bottle with all three of those in here and just keep it in your purse or bag or whatever. And you can use this as much as you want in a day because it's pretty diluted and just do like 10 drops of each one and the rest with some coconut oil. And you can apply this on your chest. <clears throat> if you're suffering with some allergies, behind your ears, kind of near your lymph nodes is also a great spot. It's lemon, lavender, and peppermint. And those three together are, are, are our antihistamine blend. Okay. And so um, I also use this a lot on like bug bites. I feel like it helps, the lavender helps soothe and then the lemon um, helps to take out the sting and the peppermint helps to cool down. So um, lots of people just use lavender. Lots of people just will use like the Purify, which has citrus in it. Um, I actually like to really use this for bug bites because I feel like the peppermint helps distract my, my nerves from the itch as well. So I love to use this blend on like bug bites as well. Um, and then if you haven't seen, um, oops, I forgot to grab it. But we do have a supplement and it looks like this and it's called Tri-Ease and you can make your own just using a veggie cap with one drop of each lemon lavender peppermint or you can just buy the already made um, soft gels which I like to just have on hand because they're easy quick and I can have them with me if I'm traveling or whatever and I don't have to like make my own potion. But you can, you can always DIY it. You can buy the Tri-Ease soft gels and that's all that's in there, lemon lavender and peppermint. Um, and you can take those as a swap for an allergy um, support if you're just kind of needing some 
some daily supports. If you really need to pull out the big, big guns though, you know, sometimes we gotta go for the Benadryl. <laughs> okay, thanks for reminding those exist. I have them and need to try them for my allergies. Yes, yeah, I love the soft gels. So does Barb. My husband loves them. He asks me to order it like, as soon as we run out, he's like, I need my tries. Like, can you please put that on your next LRP? So love those. All right, um, I think most of you already know about this, but if you don't have an icy hot or um, like a, you know, some type of muscle rub swap, deep blue rub is your BFF. And I like the oil. I feel like I use the rub more though, just being honest with you guys. I just love the rub. Um, I mostly use the oil, I feel like, to make um, like bath salts. And um, some people like the oil better, but for me, I love the rub. I love the convenience of the tube. And I just, I don't know. It's my favorite. So this is a great swap. And if you haven't seen, it's been going viral in, in doTERRA land lately, but Kevin Hart did like a YouTube video. Kevin Hart, the actor, comedian, he did like a 10 products I can't live without. Funny. It was like funny video. Um, I don't think it was sponsored in any way, but Deep Blue was, I think, like his number two product. He loves the Deep Blue rub. And so do I, and so do many people. So I'm sure you already know about this, but thought I'd mention just in case. Okay. All right, guys, I've just got a couple more. Um, let's talk about a zit zapper. <laughs> HD clear. I love this roller. And same, same idea with like the helichrysum. I don't roll this right on my acne spots because I don't want to get any like bacteria or gross stuff in the roller bottle. So I'll always rub some on my finger and then apply to where is needed. I mean, maybe, maybe if it's like mostly healed, then you're probably okay. But I usually just put some on my finger just to be safe. And so I don't get any extra bacteria or germs into the roller bottles, but, um, love this. I use this almost every day. Um, I think it's just such a great swap. And, um, I have also been experimenting by using this for, um, athlete's foot. So same idea. I'll roll some, roll some on my hands and rub it to, between my toes. Um, I just, I don't know. I'm not an athlete, but, but I got athletes. <laughs> so, so I'll put this, some of this on my hands. Oftentimes I'll just go for straight up tea tree or oregano. And I feel like that works pretty good, but some of the oils in here have been, um, actually helping a lot too. So there's another one you can swap it for. Just think of kind of like bacteria, bacteria and like fungus killing and healing. So that's why I thought like, oh, I bet I could also use this for like my athlete's foot. Um, cause all the ingredients here are very much, you know, antibacterial, that type of a thing. So love this for, um, zit zapper, but I have also been using it for athletes, but so I thought I'd mention that. All right. And then I'm just going to quickly talk about digestive. So I bet a lot of us in our medicine cabinets have like some Pepto-Bismol or some Tums hanging out. Um, I used to be very dependent on all of those things and, um, an over the counter called ranitidine, which is now in a lawsuit because it has all the side effects have given people hypothetically cancer. So, you know, there's just always those cautions. You never know what's going to happen with an over the counter drug. There's like always so many side effects. So I am so glad that I have some natural tools support to support my body that I can try first. So let's talk first about, um, my go-to's for any type of digestive troubles. And just remember the beautiful thing about like our products and oils is that they work so well with our bodies because they're made from living organisms that they don't necessarily have those side effects to push you one way or the other. So I'm just gonna be straight up with you guys. If you are constipated, you can use these products. If you have diarrhea, you can use these products and it's going to help you either way because you're, it's not gonna push you over the edge one way or another. Does that kind of make sense? Okay, so just think digestive. You don't have to be so specific. Like, you know, a lot of these products should be able to be used harmoniously and integrated in different ways. So any type of digestive stuff, the first thing I always grab is a Terrazyme. And this is my like supplement that I can't live without. <laughs> that when they were out of stock a few months ago, I thought I was gonna die. So I, I'm, uh, stocked up now because I really, this, the supplement, I can feel such a difference. I know there's some of them where it's like, did that really help me? This I know helps me so much. So this is literally digestive enzymes that help break down your food. So especially, um, if you ate a really big meal or if you're just, you know, not feeling good, maybe you're, 
you can't always tell what's going on inside of you, but a lot of the times your um, food might be having a hard time breaking down or something like that. So this is just going to help with those processes. I love Terrazyme. So does everybody else. It has helped so much with my IBS. Yes. Yeah. Love Terrazyme. And then I will also pop a peppermint enteric coated soft gel. This is one of our new products from last year. I feel like it doesn't get enough hype, but I love this product. And I know a lot of people will just take a drop of peppermint under their tongue or make a veggie cap, but these are specifically designed. Um, they have an extra coating around, so they make it all the way through your stomach acid, all the way down to your lower intestines and throughout your whole body system. So, um, and these are a really inexpensive product as well. So this is like my Pepto-Bismol slash, um, I can't think of any other digestive over-the-counters I used to buy, but like a Pepto-Bismol swap. And then, um, of course, I love like peppermint or digestin just rolled onto my tummy, always helps a lot. And um, I don't have them with me at this moment, but doTERRA has um, the, these little things called digest tabs, and it's like an exact swap for Tums, you know, like the chewable, kind of chalky, but it feels good, it's minty, it's fresh, it goes through your system and it feels good. So the digestive tabs, I also love those. And those are just a swap for, for Tums. And I use those all the time. And I didn't have an empty bottle of them to show you. So I need to order some more of those for my next LRP. Does the digestive blend come in a soft gel or just a roller? Barb, it comes in both, actually. So I have the, um, where is it? I had the soft gel somewhere, but I lost it now. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> yeah, so here's what the soft gel looks like. Love it that it's pre-made. You know, there's a lot of talk like, what works better, the digest than soft gel, or like the peppermint entire coated beadlets, or, you know, like, you know, there's a few things you can try, and sometimes that's just what you have to do. You just have to try and see what works for you. I personally feel like the, the peppermint enteric soda coated soft gels work better for me than the digest, uh, digest Zen soft gels. <laughs> um, so I like these better, but some people like these better. And, you know, just a little bit different ingredients here. This is just straight up peppermint. And this has like, you know, the fennel, the, the uh, coriander and the um, whatever else I can't remember. Anise, ginger, uh, tarragon. So it has more ingredients here. So some people like this one. You might just have to try and see what works. But yes, there is a roller as well. Um, the digest and roller is such a good one to have around for any type of tummy troubles. I feel like this is a really great place for people to get started. And then when you're ready to dive in a little farther, you got to try the Terrazyme. You got to try, you know, some of the soft gels and some of the other um, swaps that we have because they're just so good. I use both when I'm having a bad day, says Marilyn. Yes, perfect. Digestive tabs, safe for pregnancy. Um, I believe so, Meredith, but I can double check that for you. Um, I What I know is there's just a couple of ones you wanna be careful with when you're pregnancy, which is mostly um, the Clary Sage products because, um, so the Clary Sage oil and the Clary Calm Roller has Clary Sage in it. And those are ones that you just want to avoid when you're pregnant because it can actually induce labor. So some people will bring those out when they're ready to go. Um, and, you know, lots, I've heard lots of doulas and people will keep that in their toolkit to kind of help you get, get going. So avoid the Clary Sage when you're pregnant. And then just to kind of avoid the peppermint when you're breastfeeding. But you don't have to worry like too, too much. As long as you're not bathing in the peppermint, it shouldn't dry up your milk supply. And if you're not rub rubbing it on your breasts, literally. Um, but if you're still using a little on your stomach, that's typically fine. Um, just don't put it on your breasts <laughs> if you're breastfeeding. Okay, um, great question. So I've just got a few more swaps. I need uh, type any questions in the chat box and then we'll wrap it up. Um, okay, I wanted to mention um, swaps for like airborne or like emergency. Um, I'm trying to think of some more like Alka-Seltzer. Is that a thing still? I feel like my parents used to take that. <laughs> um, so a great, a great swap for that is the On Guard Plus soft gels, guys. These are always in my house. These are a must-have staple at the McGarry's house. And I love the On Guard soft gels. Um, 
I love on guard and you can always make your own, right? Just like I was talking with a veggie cap and put a few drops in there and you can make your own and you can take that a couple times a day. But I like to take these, you know, if I have something coming on, the ingredients in here actually have Melissa oil and black pepper, as well as all the on guard ingredients. So I just feel like it ups, ups your immunity a little bit more, especially Melissa is one of the most high um, oils in antiviral and antibacterial properties. So it's really going to help kill those germs. So I love these. I feel like they're affordable as well. And I just, I always have these around. I'll especially take them as a preventative if I'm like traveling or if I know I'm going to be in an area with a lot of people, just to be safe, I will take one. Um, you just want to stick to like one of these a day though. Um, if you're not sick and you're just wanting to take preventatively, I would take it just like every other day. If you feel like you have something coming on, take one a day. If you're actually sick and you're struggling, you can take like two a day, you know, one in the morning, one in the evening, but the oils in here are pretty powerful. So don't, don't take like more than three a day. Okay. Um, yes, the recommendation is to take one as needed to promote healthy immune function. So, okay, cool. And let's see, I've got two more. I wanted to, oh, three more. Mitch, can you grab me, can you grab me the deep blue polyphenols by my vitamins in the kitchen? What's that? Can you grab me the deep blue polyphenols in the kitchen box? Yeah, that'll be $10. Okay, hurry. Go. Go get it. Go on. Go on. Go find it. What am I getting? Uh, the deep blue polyphenol bottle. Deep blue polyphenol bottle. <laughs> My lovely assistant. Okay, while Mitch is grabbing those for pain, I just want to talk about stress really quick. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard of Adaptive. It's life-changing. So if you haven't tried it, you have to. Seriously, it's one of those products where you feel a really, really big difference. And I had to talk about the soft gel because I feel like- This was next to it, so I got this too. Okay, thank you. You're the best. Okay, Mitch brought in his tries. So that's what that looks like. That's the allergy blend, you guys. Um, so everything stress, emotions, all that type of jazz, adaptive's your best friend. Um, so, you know, I, I'm, you know, you can swap this for things like SSRIs, you know, always under the, the uh, care and supervision of your doctor if you are, you know, really struggling. But for me, I don't have like chronic depression or anxiety. So I just take these as needed when I feel stressed or overwhelmed because I think all of us, you know, get that way sometimes. But for somebody that is on um, an antidepressant or anti-anxiety medication, a lot of people have had success swapping to something more natural without side effects, and that is called adaptive. And there are clinical studies on this product, so it is very well tested, well researched, and all the ingredients in here are super interesting to learn about. So if you want to learn more about adaptive, um, we have a doTERRA uh, leader, and her name is um, Oh no, I just blinked. What's her name? Let me look it up. But she's an RN and she is like, she is all about the research. Oh, Jessica Travis is her name. And you can go look up her Facebook group. It's called Let's Learn with Jessica Travis. And she is really heavy on like research, showing medical studies, all that type of stuff because she used to be a registered nurse and she loves to educate people that way. So um, she has some really good videos all about adaptive. And doTERRA has great information too, but I love the way she breaks it down. So go join her little Facebook group if you wanna deep dive a little more into the ingredients in here, because they're amazing for any type of stress, anxiety. And obviously we have the roller and the oil as well that you can use topically or in your diffuser, but this supplement is a game changer. Okay, I forgot, I wanna talk about the deep blue polyphenol complex, and this is like a Motrin ibuprofen, um, any type of like pain swap. So I will usually pair this. A lot of people like to pair this with the turmeric duo, duo chamber capsules for pain. Some people do that. I like to pair this with a Copaiba soft gel for pain and for like a ibuprofen swap. And you know, if, if you're having a lot of pain, you might have to go for that ibuprofen, but it's always great to try something natural first. And I feel like these really do help support um, the pain and nervous system really, really well. What was the gal's name? I will type it in um, what her name is. And her Facebook group is really so good. So the, the group is called Let's Learn with Jessica Travis. 
And um, if you go in the group and get added and you can just search in the group, you can search adaptive and she has really good videos on adaptive. Um, for cramps, yeah, Meredith, you can use that for cramps. Um, one Deep Blue and one Copaiba for cramps. And then also the Clary Calm Roller is awesome for cramps. And I also like to use some Deep Blue Rub on my abdomen with the Clary Calm Roller for, for cramps as well. And then this is like, you know, something you can take internally. What do you pair with the Deep Blue? Yeah, it's the Copaiba, Copaiba Soft Gels. Okay, any other questions, guys? I'm so excited to get the convention box to try this. Yeah, the adaptive is in the convention box. So if you haven't tried the adaptive system, it's all in there. And such amazing research and results are coming from the adaptive line. Life-changing, life-changing for many people. Okay, guys, I think that's all of the medicine cabinet makeover swaps I wanted to talk about. So, um, you know, like I said at the beginning of the class, I know some of you weren't here, so I'll just repeat one more time. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna be focusing a little bit more on the oils that come in your top 10, you know, starter kit that most of you have lying around and how to use those in your medicine cabinet. I just kind of mostly wanna to focus today on like some of the supplements swaps. So if you wanna join us tomorrow, same time, same link, um, we'll be focusing a little bit more on the top 10 essential oils and how you can swap them in your medicine cabinet. And I would love if you, if any of you are my Facebook friends or Instagram friends, I would love to um, send you my um, medicine cabinet makeover little poster that I've made and I, I printed it out and I just keep it like in my medicine cabinet so I can go look at stuff and this is more focused on the oils but today I wanted to focus a little more on the supplements so join us tomorrow if you would like to come um, just learn a little bit more focus on the oils for medicine cabinet makeover swaps but I hope you guys learned something new today and um, this was so fun. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, and if you would like that download, just message me on Instagram. My handle is Marissa Janelle, um, or you can message me on Facebook if we're friends there, but I feel like Instagram's the easiest place to find me. Okay, guys. All right, we will see you uh, either tomorrow if you want to come learn about top 10 oil medicine cabinet swaps, or we'll see you next week for continuing education, and I hope to see you all there and hope you all have grabbed your convention kit so you can get the hel new helichrysum touch roller and the adaptive system is in there and oh the on guard wipes who's excited for those on guard wipes that's like a clorox wipe swap um i'm very excited i think those are going to be super handful what is the convention packet oh i'll just tell you really quick let me stop this recording though okay bye